and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for an Ascended Sun Disk deck. We've tried a couple of different versions of Sun Disk decks. Um, we're going to try a new version though. You know, I, I'm continually tuning them, upgrading them, making them better. What we're going to try here is we're going to try all three Ascended Champions. I kind of thought at first that maybe the best thing to do would just be playing two champions. And then we tried a Zero Rennington at first. We also tried a Rennington Gnosis version. But kind of playing through them, really what, like at first I played a Zero Rennington because I didn't think that Gnosis was that good or would really fit. But honestly, it felt like Gnosis was good and did fit. And so I kind of felt that all three champions would would really fit in here. And then I, I thought I was going to do like three Rennington and then like split the other ones up you know three copies of the other two champions combined because Renekton is just so powerful especially with the different vulnerable cards and the overwhelm and everything but Azir is the easiest champion to level up and Gnosis is maybe the second easiest to level up Renekton is actually probably the most difficult to level up so I'm deciding I'm just going to go two of each so that's what we're going to do we're going to just uh, play two of all three champions and we're going to play Azir and Renekton and Gnosis and really try to uh, get the Sun Disk and go with the Ascended Rise. So that's that's what we're going to try for this video. It's going to be our first time playing all three champions. You may notice that I have two copies of basically everything in this deck. Because with these regions, there's a lot of like good cards to play, but not a lot of like great cards to play. And so um, that's another thing. Like I used to play like three Gold Ambassadors, three Siphoning Strikes. I love both those cards. I think they're awesome. But admittedly, there have been a lot of times where they have been awkward. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of cutting it down and just kind of playing some other cards that um, are just good, solid cards. Like Rune Runner, nothing splashes. Like it doesn't really like help the like anything in particular in the deck, but it's just a really efficient overwhelm attacker. It's good with the different vulnerable cards. It's good with Siphoning Strike because of the spell shield. We got a couple of them in here. Uh, the Sand Spinner. This is a card that I haven't played in this deck before, but you know, you kind of compare it to Nocturne. It's kind of like playing another champion in our deck with playing Nocturne. That minus one, minus zero, and vulnerable, granting an enemy that is really powerful, gives us some more removal, right? Like our deck struggles at killing champions. This can help kill champions. So just another card that I didn't really play before, but I'm going to be playing now. Um, and that's that's kind of it for like those two cards. I didn't really have Preservarium in this kind of deck. Um, but you know, we're going to have that in here for some extra card draw. So yeah, so hopefully, hopefully just kind of, uh, combining a lot of things that we've learned, um, and adding in some different stuff and playing all three champions. We're going to see how we do here with our buried sun disc and just playing the one sun disc kind of got kind of just going to go with the one sun disc. If they, uh, kill our sun disc, it's okay. It's okay. We, we can still win with our different champions leveling up and all that kind of stuff. And we'll go ahead and try this ascended rise. Hopefully it works. All right, so here we go. The latest uh, version of Mono Sharima. And let's see if we get to level up some Sun Disks, get some level three champions, and we will ascend. Ooh, Fiora Shen to start with. All right, Fiora Shen. Fiora Shen, super good. We need interaction with Fiora Shen for sure. I love Golden Ambassador, but it's not interaction. And we need interaction. Um, I think I'm going to actually mulligan. I think I'm going to keep a one gold ambassador, though. So it's either keep gold ambassador or keep Rennington. But gold ambassador can draw a 6-6 Rennington. I do like that it doesn't die to Fiora immediately by itself. Like, they have to use a spell to kill it with Fiora. But to be honest, maybe that means I should have mulliganed this card. Because this card does die to Fiora. Speaking of cards that die to Fiora. All right, we're going to keep two spell mana. That's what we're going to do. We're going to play this Researchers. Have this thing after Researchers. We swim within the flows of magic. Magic. No. Bad. Bad River Shaper. Don't you dare. No, they dare. They played a Sharp Sight. Yuck. I would have loved to kill River Shaper for free and them not get a card. Thanks, Talamari. Talamari says, I love that you are actually dedicated to making the different donation decks actually work. I've donated decks to other streamers before, and the majority of them just kind of throw stuff together to minimally fulfill the requirements without even thinking about it. Yeah, no, I, I definitely want to try to make them work, and 
And that's just kind of what I like doing in general, right? I, I really love building decks and trying to make them work in general. Um, this does... Okay, so playing this allows them to um, attack and use, you know, Repost or whatever with their River Shaper. Like, they know I don't have mana to interact, but it's still just better than me doing nothing. River shape the land and give it life. So we got 3-7 Azir, much more powerful than 1-5 Azir. So we're going to... Definitely block both of them, but I guess it doesn't matter either way which ones I block. A gift from the river folk. I don't know if that's the best attack by them. The take? Like, yes, they get to just replace, and like obviously that's awesome, but River Shapers are super, super powerful, so now they're gone. But we know they have three spells in hand. Oh, well, now their attack looks great. <laughs> now that I drew Spirit Fire, that looks like a great attack. Azir sounds like a, I don't know, somebody who's like a stubborn old man that on his front porch. My name is going to echo through the ages. Sure will. Okay, well that's, so we can't really attack with Azir because it makes the Sand Soldier that's the free block with Fiora. These things are pretty bad against Fiora as well. So Fiora's looking good. If I save three spell mana, let's see, I'm looking at having six plus three, so I'm looking at having nine mana next turn. Not the best. I'll go ahead and play this. Okay, I like that. That could be useful versus your Concerted Strike or Deny or Single Combat. Good draw with the Sand Spinner. That's a good card on the Fiora. Show them what we're made of. So they only have two mana left. So if I go Siphoning Strike, try to kill Fiora, they can have they can have another Sharp Sight. And if they have another Sharp Sight, I can't really stop them. If they don't have Sharp Sight, though, like that's a great, great play for us. If they don't have Sharp Sight, but if they do, it's really bad for me. Probably my best play, though. Yeah, just please don't have another sharp sight. We know we know they have three spells in hand that they drew from the River Shapers, but no sharp sights. Let it happen. Hopefully it was just Nopify. No, no, no. They had the second sharp sight. Ah, oh, it's a bummer. Yeah, because that would have been such a great thing. Because then you know, then our Azir is a five nine, which is insane, and it grows the Gnosis and you know. That would have been crazy good for me. Alright, so that puts that down to 3 health. I'll just take it. Ooh. Ooh. I could play Gnosis this turn, then Ascendance Rise, but nah, that's not all going to happen. I'm just gonna do this right away, because I don't really want to play these two cards necessarily right now. You know, I could play one, see if they spend mana, and then do that. But I kind of want to keep this, the two spell mana for next turn, and maybe have an additional spirit fire available. I walk the space between worlds. Nature blesses her followers. Okay, that's good. Ruthless. Enforced equilibrium. Go down to four. At long last we meet again, wise Nasus. Indeed, and time has taught me even more. We see some animations. Nothing. 
No, I want to see animations. Dr. Grindle! Thank you, Dr. Grindle. Do I trade Azir for Cythria? I kind of want to. They'd be left with four cards. I'll be left with five. I'm really glad they're not playing like more things to attack with. And it's just this. Balance favors. Our wills align. Renekton. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. I definitely did not play very well against that. I could have played some like other cards here. Oh no, yeah, I just... I guess I'm not dead. Okay, no, I'm not dead, because this won't grow, so I will still stay three. Oh, no, it grows there for four. No, I just lost this game. Right, the Scythria buffs it up for four. Oh, playing that seven mana card just killed me. Like, ah, oh, man, that just killed me. I really should have, I had that game won. I just don't play Spirit Fire. I had that game won. I just didn't, yeah, I did not expect the Relentless Pursuit. Oh man, that's really too bad. That really should have been a win. Just no, uh, just no reason to play that spirit fire. No reason to play that spirit fire. Man, that's that's really too bad. So that that was a game that I really should have won. That's why. <laughs> All right. So if you're somebody that just kind of looks at the deck and just looks at the records that we have at the end, sometimes there's some user error, right? Like that was that game was just my fault. Like I really should not have lost that game. But I did. It wasn't the deck's fault. But I lost that. If I, if I just don't cast um, Spirit's Fire, we win that game. Definitely want Ride of Negation against the Vengeance Ruination deck. I turn it like so. Didn't really need to keep the, the one mana 2 1 in this kind of matchup when they're going to have like their different sweepers and stuff that's going to kill that 2 1. We were, like, you know, we knew that we were going to have the Buried Sun disc right away. I will bury the world in ice. Speaking of Bury. The Hoppa. See what I've learned. You cannot fight the cold. In Shurima's name. So I've played the Gold Ambassador. It does die. But that's fine. I think it, it's either that or just save my three spell mana. Cynthia. 
6 6 Renekton, pretty powerful. So I play that. Next turn, we're going to have 7 mana. Hmm, another one of those, eh? So I think they want to play Draclor and Inquisitor or Trundle this turn. Like, that's what, that's their plan. So, like, I attack, they play one of those two this turn. And I don't know if that's, like, a great plan for me. But let's see. So, like, they I attack, they play those, and then I get to Siphoning Strike. Okay, maybe maybe it is okay. Maybe it's... Maybe it's just fine. You're at 7, Azir. This is me just keeping Rock Hopper and Azir alive. That's not worth it. This would level up. Or no, it's only going to do 5 because the tough. It's only going to do 5, so it'll be 11 out of 12. Won't level up Rick Renekton. Still kills it. That was not a good troll chant, right? Because it wasn't. Uh, maybe they thought that Rennington was going to level up. That's. They probably thought that Rennington was going to level up. card. No mercy. Chase what you want without mercy. You know they you know they go ruination, you know like, like that just takes the spell shield. Oh no. Huh. Not a bad play. It's either Ruin Runner, Shapestone, or Skip. I think we'll go Skip. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. I turn it like so. So they do get to kill Renekton. Renekton doesn't level up, but they take two, eight. They take eight damage. So go down to six. In this scenario, my Reddington doesn't level up. Yeah. So it's basically like they just cast Vengeance on Reddington, but then also drew a Ledro. So they have two Ledros in hand. I've only slain two units this game. They, just, they haven't played many units for me to slay. Yeah, they're all about that. Stands beneath me and wins behind me. Out of my way. Puts me down to ten. Let's do this. Good thing they don't have Troll Chant anymore. Or at least, you know, they don't have that other Troll Chant. Sure. Now I have Rock Hoppa still. Yeah. 
I wonder if it makes sense just to play the Golden Ambassador first. Alright, but there we go. Alright, 1 and 1 really should be 2 and 0. Oh. This time I did not cast that Spirit Fire. <laughs> it was in my hand. Learn my lesson. Fizz. Twisted Fate. Alright, Siphoning Strike slow. Gnosis slow. Um, these both cost 3. We'll just keep the Azir. I don't really want to keep both. Turn 1 Sun Disk. We are pretty lucky that we keep on getting turn 1 Sun Disk. We've done good at finding it. Drawing it turn 1. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what all we'll do for humanity right now. And that's obsolete. <laughs> I can I can be sarcastic at times. I was. And so no, I was not I was not serious when I was saying that we were lucky for getting this turn one every time. Okay, so that's going to get some 1-1s. Uh, one that Spirit Fire going to be necessary. So in two turns, we're probably going to need to cast Spirit Fire in two turns. Like during their next, not, you know, obviously not right now, but during their next attack. Which would mean I need to have an additional spell mana for next turn. So that means I can only spend three mana this turn. Azir's command. Azir's command. So that means like, what, Xenotype Archers? That'll be my three drop this turn. I think that's yeah. I think that gives me the best play. Yeah, absolutely, Doctor Grindel. So yeah, tomorrow, first deck tomorrow. Well, those things both have two health. That's the correct number of health that they should have. I guess... Oh, I shouldn't do that so early, should I? Because Burble Fish. But yeah, no, Burble Fish will still cost... They'd have to have a zero mana spell to play Burble Fish. Yeah, I really need to do that during combat. Yeah, because they get because now they're gonna attack with this ballistic bot, which they would not have attacked with previously, most likely. All right, where are you at? That's why you don't. Uh, that's why whenever you play, you shouldn't be doing multiple things at the same time. <laughs> I'm gonna blame that, even though really no reason to blame that. Alright, so if I attack right here, it's only uh, 5, 6 damage right now. But I got these things, so we should definitely wait. Let's. Alright, so let's go with this first. Do I want Golden Ambassador next turn? Definitely don't need the other two cards. Do I want Golden Ambassador next turn? Do I want to draw a champion that has plus 2, plus 2? Um, Spirit Fire is probably still even my best draw right now. guess so. Can always rely on you to keep us safe. Greater things await. I'm always up for a round or two. Let's say, are they like really not playing anything?
Okay, we'll see what our opponent does. Spirit fire for us. I do like that we have like this quicksand. They can get rid of one purple fish. <laughs> slash fizz. Um, the ride, you know, ride negation can get rid of a. Get excited. I do have some good stuff. I probably should. I shouldn't have kept the golden ambassador. I should have just skipped. It worked. Let me hear you call our Emperor's name. 11 11? That's big. Next turn we'll have 8 plus 1, 9 mana. No, I need 10 mana. I need 10 mana. So I guess I won't have Ride Negation available. Okay, so we'll have Gnosis and then Ruthless Predator Shapestone. That's not bad either. But if they just go get excited, get excited, Mystic Shot, I'm dead, right? Like, I don't have, like, this card, so it's... It's scary not having my Ride Negation available right now. Because that kind of deck can definitely have seven points of burn. You know, all they need is three burn spells. Never lost a fair game. Well, dead in their tracks. Destiny calls. The order is given. I have risen. Possible or two pump spells kill them. Yeah, well, you say the safest play is to not play. The safest choice was to not play Gnosis, but the the problem with not playing Gnosis is it's it's more difficult for me to kill them, right? Like it's it's the safest for staying alive right now, but it's also like I kind of want to do twelve damage to them, and Gnosis was like my best option because they really need a Twisted Fate Gold card to stop the Gnosis like that or to block it, right? Because like if they just play a, a three power thing, you know, like we have you know, like the vulnerable to have that challenge away, and so they don't get to block the fearsome. So they kind they needed either. Twisted Fate Gold Card or Suit Up and then like Suit Up Block. Like they needed one of those. And like if they use Suit Up Block my Gnosis, like that's great. And we've already killed a Twisted Fate. So like they kind of had to have Twisted Fate here. And unfortunately they did, but. Okay, so that play leaves them, leaves them at five. So I can go this, keep that alive. And then that's lethal. And so we'll do that. Yeah, so we are really close to being dead. Five damage here. Okay, well, I stay alive at five. But they got rid of a spray fin and a get excited and you know a bunch of cards that killed me, so that's good. Ooh, that's also good. So yeah, they only got just two cards. Mind meld. No, thank you. I will destroy a mana gem. No, thank you. And... I guess technically the 1-1 one, one scarier. Alright, sun disc time. Let's go. Animations. Yeah. Let's go.
I don't know why I did the Azir first when the Azir was on the right, but whatever. Maybe it just goes by mana cost. <laughs> oh, now the opponent concedes? Come on! We were having fun, no? Aww. That was great. Okay, Kindred Swain. I like what I like what we got going on over here, Kindred Swain. That's a cool champion combination. Um, I'm gonna mulligan you and mulligan nothing else. I could see mulliganing the Azir actually. Yeah, no mulligan Azir. Never mind, we'll keep Azir. Because, like, so this kind of, like, they're going to be a control deck, obviously. Wow, turn one buried sun disc again. So they're going to be a control deck. So we're going to be playing, like, a longer game. And Xenotype Researcher is definitely awesome in a longer game. I like Golden Ambassador in longer game as well. All right. I don't want them getting this damage in on me. I'll just play this thing. Uh, maybe none of them. Could take Ruin Runner. I mean, I guess Gnosis is cool, but I like having the champions in my deck for Golden Ambassador. I guess Gnosis is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, Rune Runner. I don't want to meet whatever woke you are. Spell Shield. OP. Focus using multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. Alright, the longer the game goes, the better for my Buried Sun Disc. Vile Feast probably means, you know, the kill a damaged thing card, which is sad. But we got a backup Azir. Definitely gonna wait to play the backup Azir until it's leveled up, though, right? Like we can we can get ten things. Yeah, so we're at five right now. We're gonna definitely gonna wait till we have like ten things in play before we play this, though, because I do not want to risk the second Azir level, you know, dying before it levels up. Whenever we're gonna be trying to do this Sun Disk stuff, and I'm basically saving these for like their champions and Leviathan and stuff. I'm not gonna use them to kill little spiders. <laughs> Mercy. We could use like some Preservariums or more Golden Ambassadors. Yeah, Whisper Words, that's nice. I want that kind of card. No, Talia and Buried Sun Disc still, if you make two, if you have two Buried Sun Discs in play, they will count down 20 instead of counting down 10. And yeah, I assume that's a bug. Does anybody know that that's for sure a bug? It hasn't been changed. Great card. You know, gets rid of the spell shield. Would you look at this place? What a shame for you. Saw that a mile away. Where are you at now? You're at seven. I'm definitely considering using the spinner on like the one one to keep their one one from killing my one ones easily. I don't love my hand. Observe the price of ambition. It's probably a waste, but I, I just kind of want the five three and play attacking. Alright, 
right, so we each have five cards in play. Or five cards in hand. I like it. You're at eight right now. So that's gonna be nine. Ruination will be rough if they have ruination, but I got this thing to counter ruination, so. have it block my overwhelm. You know, maybe it'd make more sense to have it block the 2-1. That's 2 damage either way. Yeah, maybe maybe it'd make more sense to block the 2-1. Alright, so I got one right of negation. So we're only seven turns away from the sun disk. Vengeance. Death Sand. Okay, so right now, if we ride a negation, oh, it stops all of them, right? Man, this thing is broken. We'll just kill a mana gem. I was, I was like trying to think, of like, I was like, all right, so we'll just deny that, you know, like, thing of like deny, like, we'll just get rid of the vengeance. But never mind, it gets rid of both of them. Because, right, that card's broken. Okay, because even just getting rid of the vengeance, like, they would still take, like, they would still take lethal. But let's we'll get rid of both of them, why not? All right, three and one. Sejuani Renekton. So I'll have Azir Renekton as the curve. And then right of negation. Right of negation, not very good in this matchup, but... Did get that lucky turn one buried sun disc. I've never like mulliganed and then gotten buried sun disc in my opener after mulliganing yet, and so I'm really happy about that. That hasn't happened for me yet. So if I play Azir, yeah, I'm just going to play Azir. They get to challenge Azir with the Ruthless Raider, but I do save three life. So, you know, it saves three life and the one, two. It's a good, it's a good rock hopper. It's a good rock hopper. That's how it is. Who you once were. Man, they're, that's a lot of mana they're wasting. I think I'm just gonna let them waste all this mana. Yeah. They're gonna have like their own combat tricks and everything. The winter's claw. Quicksand. Like, this is a nice quicksand. Gets rid of that tough. So it doesn't stay alive. Um, I'll pass again. If they want to waste eight mana and I waste four, I'm happy with that. Oi, you're dead. Where are you at? You're at three. That's not very. That's not very much. Wow, nothing. I was expecting something. I don't know what. 
I wasn't expecting nothing. The boy who plays at being emperor. And the once beloved soldier, no longer fit to serve. It's like it's a nice place to play Doomkeeper right now while I have you know don't just waste mana, but we do waste the sand soldier, so like we're wasting something. One way or another. We're wasting something. A lot of damage. That was a lot of damage they just dealt. Gotcha. The trap is set. Okay, you can draw one mana five fives. Fine with that. Okay. Eight. Ten, eleven mana. How much mana does everything cost in my hand? So that's three, seven. 11. Okay, so I can't play the Chronomancer, but I can play everything else. The desert by my side. It can't be. Yeah, it's fine. Don't care. Because I can't kill them this turn, can I? This will be 6, 9. No, I can't kill them. Consider the consequences of your actions. If only mortals were not driven by avarice and hatred. They will learn just as we did. Pain is nothing. Oh, I don't like that. No. <sighs> uh, okay. So, this is going to be plus three. Five total. What are you waiting for? Maybe I don't do go with the plus five. Ooh. I was gonna level up Gnosis this turn. Man, I was gonna level up both of these this turn. Put them down. Alright, let's see. Give me time, please, give me time. Man, without that, without that Sejuani, I was gonna level up both both of my champions this turn, because I was I was gonna use the plus three plus zero on the the Gnosis, right? Like I was gonna kill a couple of things, use that plus three plus zero, and you know, like this would have been six power with the challenge, and so then and then like this would have got to seven plus three and make it ten, level them both up, Sun Disc. That was my grand plan. Sejuani messed everything up. Um, no, I'm in... No, we're in Diamond right now. We're not in Masters again yet. Ugh. Well, that's not good for me. They had multiple Sejuanis. That's really bad for me. Multiple Sejuanis. There's then just another one of those. Okay. So, open attack... We're pretty dead. None of these saved me from open attack. Um, so I guess I need to send them back. Right? Like, okay, so opening attack. They have 10 Overwhelm, which I can block with, like, 4. Or, no, because I can block with 3. So 10 minus, so 7. And then I have to block, block. No, yeah, so I, I am dead. So we got to skip. None of these help me stay alive. Rely on you to keep us safe. Man. That's too bad. Right of negation, why can't you stop burst spells? Yeah, we need spirit fire or something that was fast speed. I don't know if there's anything like that. That game, what the thing that cost me that game, like honestly, the, the only thing that cost me that game um, was playing the 5-3, the, the spinner, the sand spinner. Because I played that Sand Spinner, and then after I played the Sand Spinner, they played the Sejuani, and then they had the Sejuani Champion spell. If I don't play the Sand Spinner, if I just go to combat, um, I'm able to play my spells, 
and um, you know level up Rennington and level up Nasa. Like I could have leveled up both of them there right there that turn if I just don't play if I just don't play the sand spinner, don't let them play the Sejuani. You know, I wasn't really expecting because they hadn't they weren't really playing like spells before, but I guess that's what they had. They had double Sejuani in hand. And obviously that's completely hindsight. You know, how could I really call like double Sejuani? But um that's that's what I needed to do was not you know not let them play the Sejuani there. Cause then we we level up both of our champions and um you know and then also get to you know sun disc and i think that we're okay from there i don't think that said yeah I, I think that we're okay from there i think we could have stayed a lot you know like i don't think they could have overwhelmed enough to kill us with even with like one sejuani vulnerable so i think yeah so i think that was the the big mistake i made that game but hindsight's 2020 you know couldn't have really quite called that Close one there. So it went three and two. And of course, as you know, like that that very first loss we had the, to the Fiora Shen, I really threw that away by playing the Spirit Fire. So it really should have been a four and one uh, with only losing that last game. Um, if I just didn't play that one Spirit Fire, that was a pretty bad mistake. But um, I have to say that I was really, really impressed with our deck. I think this was the best version of the All Sharima deck that we've played so far. Overall, the Spinner was a good addition to the deck, even though it kind of cost me that last game by playing it but it was a good addition. I liked quicksand quite a bit. I wouldn't mind seeing another quicksand in here. Um, but yeah, like I, th I think we just had a, like a lot of good stuff. And uh, um, yeah, I think, I think this worked out playing like basically a lot of two ofs instead of playing a th tons of three ofs because with this kind of deck, I, I, it plays kind of like a mid-range game where all the games are different. And like all these cards are good, but they're not necessarily like cards that you need three, you know, you don't really need three siphoning strikes or three of like any of these cards really. And so having just a really wide variety for whatever the game, like however the game plays out, I think that that also uh, helps things out. So I liked having just basically all two ofs in this kind of deck. It worked well. So yeah, really powerful deck, really, really well done here. 3-2 uh, that was super close to a 5-0, super close. I think just two two different things. If I don't play Spirit Fire, I, I definitely win the first one. But that was one that you know wasn't really much hindsight. The other one was complete hindsight. But complete hindsight, if I don't play the Spinner, I think we have a much better chance there. All right, but um, anyway, that was the Ascended Sun Disc. So those of you all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Um, let me know what you think of the deck, if you'd give it a try yourself, if you've been wanting to do some cool level 3 champion stuff with the um, with restoring the Sun Disk. I think this is a, a really good option for you. So let, yeah, let me know how it's going for you over there. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.